Today, some some interesting tidbits came out mm-hmm. about the former New York Nick by the name Ooh. of Chris. Stein. Yeah, keep keep the boobirds coming. Keep yeah, the boobirds coming. You know what I mean? to, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm so tired. Till till, till I get the soundboard oh, coming. Keep the boobirds God. coming. Yo, man. So they so they had the press conference yesterday, man. And it's, it was hard to watch, Shales. It was it was hard to watch, man. I just. I, I understand it's a good riddance. I understand it's a don't let the don't let the door hit you. You know, I understand the snake talk. Snake talk hard, man. It's, it's just it's just hard to see, man. It's hard to see, man. And uh <laughs> Timmy Burke, Courtney Lee, they was just sitting there like they wasn't happy, man. Nah, they wanna be they wanted to be here. They didn't have they wasn't happy, man. You could tell you could tell all over Timmy's face he wasn't happy, man. But it nah, is what no. it is. They all wanted to be here. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Courtney Lee, yeah, yeah, something going well, maybe on. Maybe Courtney Lee. Eye. Maybe Courtney Lee wanted to leave. My man's getting paid to sit on the bench. He's chilling city to city. Well, nobody nah, wanna go to ball, Dallas. Dog. Balls wanna play. They don't want to sit on a damn bench. Nah, you're right. You're right. You're right, man. <laughs> now nah, shout out Courtney Lee, man. He he would always laugh at my jokes on Instagram, pointing fun at him. He took it in stride. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out Courtney Lee. Shout out Trey. Yo, C Lee can definitely come to the cookout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C Lee can come to the cookout. He he could he could be a guest of a guest. You know what I mean? Yeah. He could be a guest of a guest. Um Oh, I digress. Somebody said they were watching from Hong Kong. Shout out to you. Oh, wow. All right. Andrew. Andrew Kromich, uh watching in Hong Kong. It's probably about 10 a.m. Uh, in Hong Kong, man. I've been to Hong Kong. Right. It's a beautiful city, man. I love, love Hong Kong. Um, Don NYC is watching from North Carolina. Yeah, man. Shout out Don NYC. So anyway, the, the point of this, is what I want to talk about, and we'll jump off the Porzingis thing, JLs, was um some interesting tidbits from Mark Stein on how this trade came about. Real Woo. cool article. If you guys haven't mm. seen it, follow it. Um, and divulge a lot of stuff, man. Some main tidbits that we got out of it were, JLs. Number one, um, they came to the Knicks. The brothers came to the Knicks about requesting the trade. Yeah. They gave them a list of four teams. In Mark Stein's article, they list Bums, the Nets, bro. the Nets, what? the I Nets, the Nets, wow. the Nets. The Nets. The Bro- Nets. Broken record. Whose man is this? Yeah. Man? They list the yo, Nets. Get your man, yo, get your man, CP. The get Clippers. Your... Okay. Now, in Mark Berman's article, he lists the Raptors and the Spurs as the other t- two teams. Makes the sense. Raptors and makes the sense. Spurs. Makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Um, so, they said they gave him the four. They said it. They, the brothers demanded that if he wasn't traded by the deadline, they were going back to Spain to rehab. And that they would sign the qualifying offer with the intention to dip afterwards. Diva, yo, I don't understand. Diva. Yo, I don't understand how somebody who is 23 years old who hasn't hit his prime is, is is doing this, yo. Who do you think you are? You're not that nice, though. Like, I understand you got potential to use the big the best guy on the team. Yeah. But you're not, you you haven't, you're not there. The potential is there, but you you acting like you're yeah. there already, though. You're yeah. acting like you're Bron Bron. You're not Bron Bron. And, and speaking of which, um, in, in Berman's article, he says that uh, from his source, again, take it for what you will, he says Janice wanted some responsibilities on the team. He wanted some jobs for other people in the entourage on the team. Crazy. You Insane, know. yo. Insane. Is it? Is it, I don't really. I don't really see that as a, as an issue, though. I mean, it, you we was about to pay him as to be the number one guy. We was about to pay him to be the franchise. Most, yeah, it's most people too... have those perks. Yes and no. Like, yeah. you got to do a little bit more. Mm-hmm. You got to do a little bit more than shoot 43%, 40, 40% for the for the year yeah. and play 30 games. True. You got to do a little bit more. Got to earn it. You got a little bit ahead of yourself. Got got to earn it, man. And so um, Berman flew all the way down there. He had the first. He gets the first question in the press conference. Asks KP, "Why did he want to get traded?" Cuban butts in, and and, uh, and the coach, and was like, "This yeah. isn't New York. We don't have to talk about this." Blah 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 blah. They Wasted got scared. His plane Wasted his plane <laughs> ticket all the way down there. Um, so they say that once they found out the trade demands were there, it started from early January. They called Sacramento about the Aaron Fox. Good call. I would have loved to have had him. 
Oh, they, yeah. They called Utah about Donovan Mitchell. Good call. Uh, I would have loved to have yeah. had him. They were denied, rightfully so. They were denied. I mean, uh, you got to shoot your shot. You they, got you to gotta shoot your shot. shot. You got to shoot your shot. Now they said that um, Dallas, which wasn't on this list, but Dallas always coveted KP. Right? This is how the Dallas thing came about. Number one, Dallas coveted KP. Number two, the Knicks coveted DSJ for a bit of time this year. Yep. And number three, the two teams that spoke about the Tim Hardaway Jr. for Wes Matthews trade, which we had heard about earlier this mm-hmm. last month. We had heard about that. Yep. So those are all the things that kind of made the framework for the trade easy to make. And from Mark Stein's reporting, he says that um, obviously what Dallas could offer for the Knicks basically checked all the marks. You get yeah. DSJ, who's an asset. You get two first-round picks, who's an asset. And you get the ability... And you get those in addition to clearing out your cap space with Courtney Lee and Tim Hardaway Jr. Right. Because I think that was the, one of the big parts. Too, that was No it. one was willing to move both Courtney Lee and Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah. That so, was it. So great job by our front office being a, nin- being a trade ninja, ignoring all of KP's yeah. trades and saying, you know what, you're going to have to sign a long term with, with Dallas if yeah. you want to do this. They did their homework. They did their homework, yeah. man. And um, obviously, the guy didn't want to be here. We were at risk of losing him. And they did their homework, and they felt like they got the best deal that they could get. I don't look at it as a, as a salary dump, as some of the haters would say. I say the trade, in terms of a grade, is inconclusive until our plan, future plans are set, and depending on how KP does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Interesting yeah. stuff still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Interesting stuff, stuff still. Mark Stein, uh, thank you for that article. Laid out everything. Let it let us further know how much of a snake KP really is. Yeah, I mean, listen. I'm, I mean, not to drag it on. Um, it, it, like I said, it, it's hard, it's still hard to get over jails. This isn't this isn't Muchinaris walking out the back door. You know what I'm saying? But the crazy part is, is like he wasn't really with the team. And if he, if, if you was um reading the quotes and listening to the Tim Hardaway Jr., they asked Tim Hardaway Jr. Did the losing in New York weigh on you? Yeah. He handled that well. Timmy handled that question well. And he responded that, no, he understood yeah. that Fizdale was laying a foundation for for a winning franchise. Mm-hmm. And that, that we they were supposed to be mentoring these young guys until we learned to win. So was, And he was there in the trenches physically the playing trenches. the game. Timmy, Timmy was in the trenches. Say what you will. He was building and my a brick guy house. on the couch. Yeah. Being a diva. Try, trying to call shots. So, talking about, oh, I don't like the culture. You're not even there. You're yeah. on the couch. Yeah. You're on the couch, dude. Like, my guy, get off the couch. That's it. Go go with the team. And that That's it, man. And so, you know, we close it out with that, man. The, the news leaked today. We want to talk about the news. I see people in the chat getting tired of it. You know, I'm tired of it too, man. But, you know, it, it, like I said, it's not every day your 23-year-old uh, highly touted prospect just walks out the back door. So, yeah. Um, it it is what it is. I hope we we uh you know reap the benefits of of this flexibility. I wasn't gonna call, him, but mm-hmm. once I heard KP put the Nets into the where the destinations where he would want to go, yeah, man, that I, was some real boss. Like I was just so disgusted Disgusting. because like we, as fans we gave him everything. We gave him everything. Like we 